Hey guys, what's hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm here with a new demo review of my brand new amp. It's a Fender Mustang One. Uh, it's 20 watts. It's got a uh, eight inch speaker, eight ohm speaker, and I'm doing a demo. It's a modeling amp which basically means that it has built-in amp models and effects into it which is a good thing for me so I'm just gonna go through here the controls we have our gain here uh... it is... I have it turned all the way up just because I like to here's your volume, your treble, your bass, and your master I have all those at four you, over here you have your different amp models there's eight different amp models and three different kinds of each this is your modulation effects and your delay reverb effects you have your tap for your delay <coughs> and you have to save presets and to exit from your preset or whatever and then it's got a built-in tuner here's your auxiliary for like uh... uh... for like plugging in an iPod or something and headphones and a USB port which the cable comes with it it's so you can edit presets and your power so let's cut this thing on and right now I have it set I'm gonna go through the different amp models and then I'll go through all the different effects with whoop sorry if that's moving there's cords everywhere okay so I'm going to go through with different amps and effects models. So right here we have a 59 Deluxe. It is red. It's the red light. And I'm using a Ibanez Gart 50 guitar going straight into the amp. So here's a little demo of what this sounds like without any effects. And some of them, they have them stored so that they've already got built-in effects like with the amp or whatever, which I haven't changed any of that because I just got it yesterday for... And this amp's only a hundred bucks, which it's a great deal. I'm going to switch over to a 59 Baseman. It's got delay, <clears throat> as you can see the tap light flashing, so... Switch over to a 65 twin reverb. Uh, British 60s. I don't know what I did with the next amp model, but yeah, I did something to it. It didn't change anything though. British 80s, and these are your different types of things that you can store. American 90s, with delay. Supersonic. Metal 2000 with a little bit of a fix on it. And 57 Deluxe in green. Fifty nine baseman. Program, British 80s. American 
and 90s. Supersonic. Metal 2000. Fifty seven Deluxe and Amber Basement Twin Reverb Sixties British British 80s American this is one of my favorites just I wish it didn't have the delay built in Supersonic. And Metal 2000. Okay. Now we're going to switch over. I'm going to go back to the green American Night. And run through some of the effects. So right here, the next effect, or the first effect, A1 is the chorus for modulation effects. Hang on, I'm gonna go back to a cleaner. There we go. You have a deep chorus. Uh, you have your next effect, which is a flanger. Your next effect is a ba is a bass line tremolo. Your next effect is a optical vintage tremolo fast. Or a tremolo, just a regular tremolo. And then this is your fast tremolo. And then your next effect is a vibratone slow. Then your fast fiber tone. And then you have an octaver. your phaser, which I actually like because it's a decent phaser. And then you have a 
faster phaser. And then you have my, I like this amp. You play sort of one at once and it makes a really cool sound. And this is a step filter. Okay, now I'm going to switch to a different amp model. I'm going to switch to a American 90s in green with slow delay or no delay. And here's your tape delay, one repeat. And you can slow down the speed. And here's your stereo delay, you have three repeats. And then your mono delay, you have four repeats. And you have small room rever reverb. Um, next one is your plate reverb. And then your next one is a large hall reverb. And then I like using the, this is the next one is a Fender 65 Spring Reverb, which I like using to play this. And you have a 63 Reverb, which is a little bit faster. Or a little bit louder. And then your next one is a tape delay in a r room. This is a little bit fat. Let me slow it down some. Okay. Your next one is a tape delay large hall. And then you have a ducking delay, small hall. And then an echo filter. So yeah, that's basically all of your effects. And then you have a built-in tuner. Which, I'm going to switch back to the 57 Deluxe, you hold down the tap, and then there's different ones. You have an A, a B, a C, D, E, F, G, and then sharp. And then this is your tuner. When it lights up green, you're in tune. If it's with this, you need, if it's green and with this, you still need to go flat. And if it's green with this red, you need to go sharp. So, I should be pretty close to in tune. But see, like, there. So, like, see, the E light would light up 
for whatever you're tuning. And the A light is lighting up. The E, D, D light is lighting up. Wow, I'm flat. And the G light. And the E light. So yeah, that's basically all of the basic features of this. It's a pretty sweet amp. I really enjoy using it. Uh, I've had it for about a day, and it weighs about 17 pounds or so. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my view. Go check out some of my other videos. See you guys in the next one. Peace.